What up, fam? Mr. Cutter, CEO, back in the house again, man. Look, more game. More game and more game. That's right. Welcome back to this channel. Subscribers, family, and friends. Listen, man, look. How do you handle conflict in the dump truck business? Conflict resolution 101 in the dump truck business. Is there conflict out here? Sure. There's conflict sometimes with you and the contractor. There's conflict with you and other truckers. There's conflict with you and your employees. There's conflict that can happen uh, with you in the yards that you're loading at for your contract. I mean, that it's just like anything else where there's people, there's potential for conflict, right? But it's not the fact of conflict happening, it's how you respond to conflict, right? So here are a few keys that I use to um, help me when conflict arises. Keep a cool head, right? Two heads on fire, ain't gonna get it. You burn each other up. Did you get that? Right? So keep a cool head, all right? And be, and find out. Be a listener and find out. Well, keep a cool head. That's number one. Number two is be a listener. Find out what is the the the, the complaint, the greet, the uh gripe the problem from the other party we have to be listeners sometimes some of us don't listen long enough we listen just long enough to get our point out right and we don't actually hear that the other person may have a valid point and so we gotta listen to the other person's gripe and then we gotta number three seek to solve the problem don't seek to be a person that's argumentative got to have the last word got to be right let me let me let y'all in on a little secret None of us have, are right all of the time. I have had to apologize to drivers before. I've had to apologize to contractors before. And I've had to admit when I was wrong and said something wrong or, or thought something wrong or did something wrong. Right? Conflict resolution, man. You got to be able to, 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 to keep a cool head. Listen long enough to find out what the problem is. And then be man or woman enough to admit if you're wrong. Because the fact of the matter is you're not always right. This is a short one, but it's kind of to the point because conflict is out here. If you're human, conflict is out here. It's going to arise at some point. It's not the fact of it happening, but it's all about how you respond. Y'all hit the link in the, uh, y'all hit the um, comments and tell me how y'all uh, uh, solve conflict. This is not everything. I just want to give you a list of it. I'm out of here. I'm gone.